so as you can see here it's a weekly schedule generator what it does what it's going to do is going to generate a schedule for us from monday to sunday and we're going to be able to export it to a csv uh, there's no authentication it's, ho it's hosted on streamlit so let's jump into it so if i want to say i want to become a professional marathon runner okay so i'm an early bird let's say the intensity how intense you want to go how serious you want to take it you want a more balanced approach you stay with five okay and do you have school or full-time job let's say you have school let's say from or a full-time job nine to five so there we go it's set default to nine to five and then we generate schedule so you can see on top right it's starting to work there it is okay so this is a generated schedule it's 5 6 a.m wake up in the morning routine 67 running training session 7 to 8 showering get ready for work 8 to 9 commute to work 9 to 17 full-time job 17 to 18 commute back home so this is 5 to 6 6 to 7 strength and conditioning training um 7 to 10 or 7 to 8 is uh dinner and relaxation time and then 20 to 21 study and research about uh, marathon training training techniques nutrition recovery strategies wind down activities and then sleep at 10 p.m so 10 to 5 that's seven hours of sleep um so it has it for every single day it has its own custom day and then for sunday see as you can see wake up morning routine so it knows you don't have work sunday and knows you don't have work saturday um yeah so you can also download the csv file for this and if we open that up as you can see, it has the day, the time, and the task. So you can track this, you can send it to Airtable, and you can have it automated and send you um, notifications. And then you can even probably set it up on your Apple Watch or your iPhone so you can get notified for each hour. Yep, it's time to do your running training session, it's time to shower, it's time to, you know, so you can micro manage your day. This is basically the essence of this um, tool that I made it for, and I'm, I use it myself. So what's happening here is the user types in the inputs, so enters input, so it's data, and enters data, and then that's sent to Stack AI, and that processes the data, and generates a routine, and then it's presented back in Streamlit. So we have Stack AI, which we've been through a lot in this YouTube channel. And then we have Streamlit, which is fairly new in this channel, but it's just a way to make a website. So it's basically a way to make a fancier input for Stack AI. Okay, as you can see here, it has the input, and we even had this stuff on the side here. Schedule preferences, we have all these inputs. And what it's doing is it's sending all this um, in the back end to Stack AI, and it, all it's doing is opening an output. So I'll show you guys the flow I made for this. So we have to-do lists, okay? So this flow has three inputs to make what we saw here, okay? So we have an input for the actual prompt, and then we have an input for the preferences, which is early bird and night owl, and there's an input for the intensity, and there's an input for full-time job or school and the times, okay? But I bunch up, the, um, as you can see here, I bunch some of the inputs together so we don't have like more than three. So we have one, which is the normal prompt. This is the school and whether they're an early bird or not and the times they have school or work. So that's recorded here. And then this is just the intensity from one to 10. Okay, and this is being processed in a 3.5 turbo 16K. Um, and what's being done here is schedule for in zero, which is the, the original prompt here. And then schedule type is in one, which is the early bird school nine to seven. 17 which is 9 to 5 um, and I tell it to make sure to factor in the following when making schedule so it has to factor in the time of school or whether he's an early bird or a late bird and then I have schedule intensity okay so schedule intensity is just how, how intense is the schedule from 1 to 10 if you want it more strict more discipline self-discipline is 10 and then if you want it more lazy and lenient yeah we have a one okay so maybe for 10, it will generate, make the weekends you're working on the weekends, you know? So that's kind of how it, what happens, okay? And then I have a knowledge base. So I have DocsM0, which is just a document loader. And I have five D PDFs of different books that I found online PDF files for. 
I just uploaded them in here. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can have productivity blogs. You can have productivity YouTube channels. You can add any data sources that you think is really relevant. Okay. Um, yeah. So there we go. Okay. And then what it generates um, with all these inputs and the system prompt, which is here. It says you create the ultimate schedule based on the data you have access to for the day broken down task by task to ensure success in life and the first ever trillionaire and AI human nodal. Okay. This part is um, irrelevant. I didn't know why I added it there. So based on science and logic as well to ensure maximum human, maximum optimization for a human, okay? And then that's being outputted to here. So given the information, the goal, here's the optimized schedule, then it has a schedule, okay? And this schedule is also fed to a different 3.5, 16K, which is just going to format it further um, and finalize it. So it says improve this LLM, zero the result, the output, which is this so the output from this is being sent to an output so we just we can see it but it's also at the same time being sent to another llm which is just another 3.5 turbo 16k and it just has a system prompt which is as improve and plan the whole week schedule for the most optimized life based on goals needed sorted out by time for each day micromanage my life only include the timings and output it in json so and then we just put llm zero so it just get, it's getting this and that's it and then it sends it to an output which is out zero so this out zero is then sent to streamlit and then streamlit formats to say json and do what you see here okay and then it also formats it to a csv file so you can download it that's pretty much going us what's going on in the front the front end with uh, i mean the back end with stack ai um and then we can go in once we complete we build our flow we can jump into export and then we go to api endpoint and then we have the endpoint URL and the authorization information. So your API key, which is hidden for me, but it won't be hidden for you. This code and template is gonna be in my Discord server for free. It's for free, okay? So Discord is now open for free for, it's gonna be two plans. There's a free plan and there's a premium plan. So everyone that's already in premium, we have around 50 members that are premium. Then we're now opening for free. So this is gonna be the first free resource that you guys have access to. So the code for the streamlit stuff will be there and the stack AI template will also be there. Okay, so make sure you join the Discord. The link is in the description. I'm sending out the emails today, letting everybody know that the free Discord is now open. Please be active. We're looking for staff members. We're looking for people that provide value to the community. So please join in if you guys want to take your AI money making skills to the next level. This is big. This is a big opportunity. Okay, now we can jump into the actual Streamlit code. So I'm using PyCharm for this. You can use any IDE, like Visual Basic Code, whatever you like. Um, if you don't know what to use, just download PyCharm, the community version, it's free. And yeah, so you're just gonna go file new project and create a new project. And then once you create a new project, you click this button here, and then it'll open up the folder that you created. So this will be the, fold, the file name that you made. And then you can um, press this arrow to open it up. And then Vinv is just the, uh, environment information so all the um, packages that you're going to pip install which i'll show you in a second how to do so that's what and you're going to have no files so i have files because i already made them but you're not going to have any so you're going to do is new then python file and then it's going to write app.py okay i already or routine about file whatever you want to name it i already did that so i'm not going to do that and then at the bottom what you want to do is there's a terminal icon in the bottom left you press that and then it'll open up the terminal so let me just save all the Go upset for now, and then let's just show you how to pick install. So this code is going to be in my Discord server, like always. Everything's in my Discord server now. Um, if you want to join, links in the description. But uh, so what you're going to have here is um, the import. We're going to import these libraries, okay? So the streamlet request JSON and pandas. So I already have everything installed. So what you're going to do is with the code, it's gonna when you import it into PyCharm, it's going to have squiggly lines underneath it. So everything that has squiggly lines underneath it, let's say, let me just show you guys an example. Let's do import OpenAI. So it doesn't know what OpenAI is. Um, there's no module. So what you would do is, in this case, you would do pip install OpenAI. Well, wait, you're, and it's gonna install it, and then the squiggly lines will go away. See, now now you can use OpenAI's um, module because you installed it. So that's what you're gonna do for streamlet and requests, and then you should be good to go. And the next thing you're going to want to do is input the API URL here, which is just the endpoint. If I go back to the browser, it's just this, this link is what you're going to input there. 
and then there's the authorization. So the authorization, you just put your API key here. Um, yeah, mine's gonna be maybe blurred out. Actually, I'm not gonna blur it out. I'm just gonna reset the key. So you can see it. So this is, you just put your API key here. Okay, so what's happening right now, with just call it has the API endpoint URL and it has the headers here. This is just for the API, so it connects to stock AI. And then this is to create the CSV file. So this is just telling it how to create the JS um, the CSV file and what columns to use and what data to put in those columns. Okay, and rows. Okay, and then this is the downlink if they want to download the CSV file. This is creating um, the actual file to download. And then you have the title here. So this is the streamline. It's using Streamlit to um, it's custom template stuff. So this is the title stream, Streamlit default title. Then has a weekly schedule generator sidebar header. Just for the sidebar that we saw for the preferences this is the title for that and then this is the radio buttons for select your preference early bird or night owl and then it has a special key so there's no duplicate so this specifies this is for schedule type and then we have the slider for how intense you want to schedule remember it was five for balance and zero you can define it as you like ten is more strict zero is more lenient okay and we have prompt text area into your prompt this is for entering the prompt of what you want the schedule for specifically Okay, and then we have radio button for school or full time job, just the same thing as the early bird night owl. And we have a key here, so it's different and not a duplicate one because they're the same um, template uh, for the radio buttons. So we're out of key, so it knows it's different. Um, and then we have here, um, we have the default values for start and end time, so you know, and the, the time input. So you know how before we can see how long we have work for or school, and the default is 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. That's how I set it up. And you can change that to whatever you like. Um, so this is useful because if they have school or work, um, it puts down the schedule and it doesn't overwrite that with other tasks because it's conflict. Okay. And then the generate schedule is just a button that it creates. And then this combines responsibility and timing to a single string. Remember, we just wanted three inputs. We didn't want five. So it combines some of the inputs together and sends them to stack AI as one. Okay. And then this is just the three inputs. So one in zero, one in the second one's in one and the third one's in two this is this is just a stack ai definitions and then this tells it what data to send in these inputs um okay and then this just tells it where the what the api url is and the headers and stuff and then if response is successful which is response 200 um it will get the output in the json okay and then it will, it will format it and then put it in the time slot for each day as you saw um, and if not, if it's not successful, an error occurred while fetching the schedule, status code, X, Y, Z. Um, so the user can know what status code, what went wrong, and then they can tell you, and then you can fix it for them. And that's essentially it. Um, yeah, it's fairly straightforward. And then now if you want to run it, so what we're going to do is do streamlet run routine.py. And now it will open it up. Schedule now we can enter the as you see when you open up now you can enter the prompt that you want and you can select the settings that you like. So if you're not owl and you want to do intense and you have a full time job, you're nine to five. I want to work in the next nine days. And we press generate schedule and then we let it run. Okay. And as you can see, now we have I want to be able to back this in the next 90 days. Morning routine, work, lunch break, skill development, dinner, rest, physical conditioning. So it has the whole schedule broken out. It's fairly the same for every day except Saturday because you don't have work on Saturday. So this is free time, skill development, physical conditioning, free time, skill development, physical conditioning, dress. So this breaks down your whole day. And then you can download it as a CSV and you can set it up in Airtable um, and have it automated, which if you guys like, we can do another video. I can do a short video on how to set up an automation on Airtable for this type of schedule. So we'll just... So in the video, I would probably just download the CSV file, upload it to Airtable, and set up automations on Airtable, and then integrate it with um, SMS or something to get notifications um, every hour so I know what to do in that hour, okay? My next video is going to go crazy, okay? I'm going to be creating a SaaS similar to this, but more advanced, um, and I'm going to do payment. I'm going to have a payment system integrated in it. I'm going to show you guys everything on how to make it. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope please please like this video for the algorithm please i'm begging you i'm begging you i'm on my knees here okay thank you guys for watching it means a lot to me you guys don't understand it takes a lot of effort and work to think of ideas to make and i'm trying to help you guys as much as i can so thank you guys for watching i appreciate it